If you are thinking about moving to Fredericksburg, Virginia, you are definitely going to want to watch my updated video of the pros and cons of living in Fredericksburg 2024. Let's get right into it. A huge pro is the brand new 95 Express Lanes just opened up to Fredericksburg through Stafford by the Quantico Marine Base and all that, which is going to help out a ton. So I definitely think this new road enhancement is going to be huge for the area. Area, it's going to open it up, especially if you are commuting, because one of the things I have to tell you is probably the biggest con of living in Fredericksburg or just traveling through Fredericksburg is going to be Interstate 95. It gets really backed up once you get around Fredericksburg and through the Stafford area, and they have tried and tried, and every time they do something to the roads, it is always too late, but there's a lot of 18-wheelers and trucks that go through there and a lot of tourists going through Canada all the way down to Florida, through the Carolinas. That is the main traveling road up the Eastern Seaboard. And it obviously goes right through Fredericksburg up to the Beltway in Washington, DC. And there is just a ton of traffic. So that road right there, probably in general, would be my biggest con to living in Fredericksburg. But then again, the biggest pro is they just opened up these brand new express lanes. A lot of people on my Instagram, at Chris Colgan Team, shameless plug, have said it really hasn't helped yet, but let's give it some time. It's only been open for about a week or so, but that that is definitely one of my biggest pros and cons. All right, probably another huge pro is there is just a ton of history around Fredericksburg. So many different things to do around that. You can visit all the parks. You can also go to some of the historical sites. And then of course, there's a ton of wineries and breweries and just so much to do there locally. You don't have to really worry about leaving or going anywhere else. There's like plenty of shopping and dining options like a place called Central Park and just all kinds of different different and unique things. So especially if you're into like, like history and you're into hiking, walking, doing all that stuff really outdoorsy, that will definitely be key. And it's also not that far from Lake Anna, Virginia, which is, was named the number one place in America to own an Airbnb. And it's also systemically close to Richmond and then of course, Washington DC. So it's smack dab between Richmond and Washington DC. There's so much history around the Fredericksburg area. And to me, that is a huge pro. All right, another huge pro is going to be the charming downtown Fredericksburg. Now Fredericksburg has its own city area as well, but this downtown is really beautiful. I was there this past summer. Me and my wife walked around, she was pregnant. We had lunch and then we walked up and down the river and checked that out. And there were some beautiful, like brand new multi-million dollar homes being there. And then of course you have the VRE train. You just have so many things around there, but the historic places around there, the local shops, restaurants, bars, it is a huge, attraction during the summer where a lot of people will travel there and go around just to check it out and walk around downtown Fredericksburg. And like I said, this is probably one of the more charming towns in all of Virginia. I simply just love that place and love hanging out there. And if you live in there, definitely comment below which are some good places to check out or what the best local restaurants are, because I definitely by far have not checked out all of them. And that would be a great place to live as well, because there are some nice luxury places to older single families. They have all kinds of different housing options in there as well, but it's a great place if you wanted to live there and then walk to the bars or walk to the local restaurants on the weekend when it's not freezing cold outside, but that is definitely a huge pro to Fredericksburg. Another huge pro is all the community events. I used to advertise on the radio station out there and there was always events going on that we would go to, whether it was country concerts, to sporting events, and then of course you now have the Fredericksburg Nats, which is the farm team for obviously the Washington Nationals and they have a beautiful brand new stadium there where they do concerts, they have fireworks going on. There is just so much to do there when it comes to that type of things. And that area over there is over brand new like apartments, there's brand new shopping, just all kinds of growth coming around Fredericksburg and that national stadium. And just like, like I said, there is just so many like community events. I remember we would go to like this charity function or we would go down to Spotsylvania, down to the track and do something there. So just always something going on. Definitely a great sense of community a lot of like younger families as well if that is something that you're looking for. Another huge pro 
is they have the University of Mary Washington there, which is a great college. If you wanted to check that out, or if you have kids, you might want to go to college, but they don't want to go far away. You can also travel up 95, then you, of course, would have George Mason University or Northern Virginia Community College. There definitely is a lot of different education options, and Mary Washington is definitely a beautiful campus for sure. You can tell I didn't finish college because I keep saying definitely, which I'm sure is not a uh, proper grammar to keep saying. But anyways, totally beautiful campus, all kinds of education options there, highly rated schools as well in the Fredericksburg area. Another huge pro to me is the housing options. Now, I've sold a lot of houses to FBI, CIA, all kinds of government different workers, and they really love that Stafford, Fredericksburg area. You can get beautiful townhomes from four to 600,000 to single families from three to 400,000, all the way up to seven, 800,000 and into the millions. If you wanna go a little bit further south in the Spotsylvania area of Fredericksburg, you can get a house with a little bit more land. I also work with a ton of builders who build houses with a lot of land, but when you're talking like best bang for your buck in the Northern Virginia area, I think Fredericksburg is definitely up there because yes, it's definitely not cheap, right? But you can still get a really nice single family home for under a million dollars, which would be like a condo in Arlington, Virginia, but you can definitely have plenty of options with all kinds of new schools, amenities around you, just plenty of things. And it's a really good area to buy a place if you work flex, but they pretty much much have any housing option you want, whether it's a condo, like I said, townhouse, single family, active adult. That's something that we specialize in. We've shown our number a few times here. You can call me anytime, shoot me an email. People all the time, just like you who are watching from out of state or maybe even in state, call me from this YouTube channel to talk about real estate. And I work with most, honestly, most of my buyers and sellers come from this YouTube channel. I can talk to you and do a Zoom call with you about Fredericksburg real estate. But you know what? Let's talk about some of the cons. I already mentioned one, which is Interstate 95. If you look up Google anything about Fredericksburg, that is for sure going to come up. One of the things that's going to be cost of living. Fredericksburg is definitely not a cheap place to live in. Most families are dual income households, and I'm sure the cost of living is a lot higher than the national average. And as you can tell from this video, housing prices can definitely get up there as well. With that being said, if you're willing to commute or maybe you're doing a flex job, it's going to be a lot more affordable to live in the Fredericksburg area than say like a Reston, Virginia or an Arlington or a Fairfax. And that's where most people choose Fredericksburg and why they choose it because it's a little bit more affordable, but definitely the cost of living there can for sure get expensive. Another thing is going to be limited public transportation. There is no mass train like the metro system that they have in Fairfax and Loudoun and all that. You do have the VRE train, which is a great option. A lot of people do use that. I think the ridage has been down on that lately, but you know what? A lot of people do use it. I've heard it costs anywhere from three to $400 a month to ride that train all the way up into Union Station in DC, but that is definitely an option. If you're open to that, it does make several stops and you can check out on their website, but there is just limited public transportation. You will definitely need a car if you live in Fredericksburg, unless you like live in Old Town Fredericksburg and you work in there, but for most likely you're not gonna be using public transportation. Another thing around Fredericksburg area is the weather here in the Virginia area right now. It is freezing cold and on Sunday, which was yesterday, it was 65 and today it is 30 and it snowed. So if you're not used to extreme weathers, allergies, this might not be the area for you. That is just part of life and I always joke in my videos, but when it snows around here, everyone freaks out. They run to Wegmans and get milk and they get bread, which I have no idea why. And I gotta get the bread and milk. Oh my god, I gotta get the bread and milk. I gotta get I gotta get the bread and milk. I gotta get the bread and milk. They said snow! And they all freak out, and then it gets extremely hot here. But during the summer, I will say a lot of people in July and August, they travel to places like Orlando, you know, Florida, or they go to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. There's all kinds of different vacation places that people drive to. But I can tell you what, the weather here in Virginia, I've lived here my whole life, and the weather is definitely extreme. So if you're not used to that, keep that in mind. So if you've grown up in Florida, it can get freezing cold here. We don't get a bunch of snow, but just definitely keep that in mind. 
mind, probably, probably the biggest complaint that I hear about Virginia area from people. And then I would say my final con would be the job market in Fredericksburg. Most of the jobs are gonna be located deep into Northern Virginia, like Arreston, Tyson's, McLean area, Arlington, where the Pentagon is, Crystal City for Amazon. There's just not a lot of big companies in Fredericksburg. Now you do have Geico and some other ones, and Fredericksburg, of course, does have a lot of jobs, but not a lot of the huge companies that you're gonna see in Fairfax and things like that. I would bet that most of the people that live in Fredericksburg definitely commute deep into Northern Virginia or even DC for some of their jobs, just like it is in Prince William and Loudoun County. It is the same way. Definitely trust me on that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit me up if you're thinking about buying a home. And as always, subscribe.